a way back to step forward. Current times and trials are foreboding, but how is it that we came to this? Where is a stepping off point where we can meet? A past to make us present in the now and here. A moment or moments in time forever embroidered in the tapestry that is my life. The hour that I spent with my grandson, a moment too brief and possibly only within my view. If this, however, is too recent, too painful, or not the truth to your point of view, then mayhaps a secret swell of joy and pride as I watched your accomplishment from twenty yards across from you, and nothing could I say. Or back and further still, the moment that you showed me from my view, of course, that you trusted me, or at least did not care for my opinion. In that strength of that moment, you showed that to me and your mother, you would be treated as a child no longer, though that is what you will always be. Or back and further still, a dozen moments mounting, molding, making the monument that you have become. Or back and further still, celebrating the anniversary of something I had no part in. Ice cream floats and cat one games of tic-tac-toe. May it be that you never do know what it cost me. Or if you need to stretch back further than a decade, a, tarm my, a time marred by my own youthful stupidity and ignorance. A view was changed within me. A moment utterly transmogrifying itself, the dark rude beast I was before. Silenced. Projecting the madness that was myself forward could not have been an option. What value did I have, considering how many I have hurt? What right did I have to carry that which I was, in part or parcel, forward to generations that were unprepared for the monster that would be their father? Had been their father, your mother reminded me so gently. And you showed me what wonders could be possible. In simple, brilliant innocence, you showed me what might could be. To go back and further still would be more than difficult for twice. You graced my world before you entered it, and I was too young and stupid at the time to know how utterly your mother and you would redefine me. To help you know, if not remember, once was in a stroller in my high school, and the other was in my home as I terrorized your mother with horror movies. And you slumbered peacefully to camp town races on an old Fisher Price record I had. I do not doubt that you wonder how mad am I am. And perhaps the gulfs between who we are now and who we were then are far too many parsecs wide. But it is my dear and fervent hope that it is in these moments we can close the distance by simply reaching out. For in the end, that is all I can do. That and keep a light burning in the front room, if only from my view, awaiting the day that my daughter comes home.